Hello, this is Matt Nelson, and in this video we are continuing with building a dashboard from sample data in Worldwide Importers database provided by Microsoft. In the previous videos, we wrote a script in T-SQL and imported that script as a query into Microsoft Power Pivot. We even wrote our first measure called Revenue. We wrote that measure directly in the Power Pivot window, but usually when you add a measure, you do so in the actual workbook under the Calculations section of the Power Pivot ribbon. So if we go to Manage Measures, we see our existing revenue measure here. And one of the things that you can do in Power Pivot is assign a persistent format. So instead of being a floating point decimal, for example, we can specify this as a currency field with a dollar symbol and zero decimal places. It will automatically use the thousand separator. So let's add some new measures. Next measure we want on the invoices table will be profit. So this again is simply a sum invoices line profit. And we'll assign this a persistent format as well. So now we have profit and revenue. And to extract the cost, we could have add, added a column next to each row to subtract the difference. But instead, let's work at as a whole data set all at once. So here we can just take the cost measure will be defined as revenue minus profit. And again, this is currency with zero decimal places. Now, what if we want to express our profit margin as a percentage? We can do that. So we can say our margin is going to be divide, which is a special DAX formula, that's data analysis expression. This formula provides a fail safe against division by zero. So we'll take our profit measure, so we're using these as building blocks now, and divide it by the revenue measure. The alternative result in case of, of division by zero will be 100%. And again, with persistent formatting, we can say this is a number, and this time a percentage with one decimal place. So now we have some building blocks to work with on a simple table that we can begin to build visualizations. So let's insert a pivot chart. Make sure it says use this workbook's data model. So far, we only have one table. Later on, we can add a dates table to group things by month or quarter or fiscal period. But for now, we just have the invoice date. We put that in the axis. And then we could track gross sales revenue. And then we can throw in margin as a secondary axis. So right now, the margin is a very small number compared to the daily revenue. And we can change the chart, chart type. And we'll do a combo. We're going to put the margin as a line chart on the secondary axis. So this data is fairly noisy because this is on a daily basis. And we can also further analyze this data by putting in a timeline. So go to Analyze, Insert Timeline, and we'll use Invoice Date. It will automatically select all dates within the range of the data. And we'll set this to quarters for now. So if we want to just look at a few quarters, we can select that. And we can see over time that we are fairly stable at a little over 40% of gross margin. And the daily revenue figures are reported as the bar chart. So this is fairly noisy. The next step would be to add a dates table to group the information 
by month or quarter or some other similar grouping. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Until then, I hope you like this video and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.